Yeah. I forgot. Oh, yeah, we're, we're here. You, you guys, new guys that are starting to catch on, you, the, the photographers, everybody, we're all in on the joke. There's, there's no audience <laughs> that we pretend they're way in back. And we, we, the YouTube is our audience. You guys are a part of the show. It's the best thing on earth because you guys get to be a part of it, right? You get it now? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. You get to be a part of the shenanigation. The shenan yeah. Well, the, the exciting thing about that is that means also I can give you guys... I can give you guys some behind the scenes info about the whole show. I can tell you what's going on in our heads. Oh my. I can. Oh you, you, you might, you might not. I'm gonna tell you anyway. <laughs> Here's the thing. Behind the scenes of all of this is a theatrical conceit. It's a simple idea that, you know, we're all, we're all working together on this thing. And, you know, philosophers talk about it, these people talk about it um, in, in, in theater, theater. They, they call it the accepting of an offer. In, in improv, which is drunken theater, you've stayed around late at night, you, you understand. Uh, it, they call it saying yes and. As a simple idea that you can, you can start a conversation, you can be affected by your environment. I mean, the truth of the matter is, all good creation works that way. Uh, you know, realizing that bread mold is medicine. And this is a story about this, this boy, Romeo, and he met a girl named Juliet. And that was the best. <laughs> and well, you know, we get to the tragedy. It didn't go so well. But it was a story. Let's face it, you know, the interruption was important too. Otherwise, Little Red Riding Hood without the interruption would be nothing more than once there was a girl in a red cloak who took some lunch over to Grandma's house. The end. That's what happened to and that, that's the whole thing. You know, so the interruption's not necessarily bad. It's not, it's not good for them. It we went real bad for them. But it went good for storytelling, which is we all understand what we're doing together. So you're dead on. The thing that's interesting about this is when we're, when we're working together, if we get into the idea of accepting an offer, somebody says, hey, try this, and we all try it, that's awesome. And all good creation, like I said, bread mold becomes medicine, you know, classic literature. And we don't want to say yes, but. But I do want to say and yet. And yet, why are so many things in our world built around no? Well, that's an ugly question. Don't walk on the grass. No littering, no running barefoot. I like being barefoot. I do too. But why? 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 Because it feels good, but why no? We see the sign. We know it exists. We're not going to pretend it doesn't exist. Why no? Yeah. Might get a rock in our foot. Might get a piece of glass or a rusty nail. Might get the plague. Might be a snake with really short teeth. And if you're not wearing your Nike trainers, it could bite through and you'd be dead. If it wasn't for that little piece of shoe. Probably not. But fear, fear, we're afraid. That makes sense, okay? Every good creative idea stops dead in the face of that, of fear, of no. Every good idea we have, just it's done, it's over. So, I've been doing this thing, not for three weeks, <laughs> but for three just about three years and I only recently got my head around why the hell it's important. I mean I thought oh fun Monday night a couple of cocktails and my friends and we do some theater and that's cool right that's cool and then I thought oh you know I, I want to be a clown so I'm gonna start working on my stuff and taking it seriously now it's a, a theatrical opportunity and, and that's cool and then you know performers really good ones like you'll see some tonight are gonna come in here and they're going to work on their stuff and they're going to get portfolio out of it. So it's a way to help performers get even better. And, and that's cool. But I had no idea what it was really for until just recently. You see, this place is one of those handful of places in the world where the whole room will say yes with you. Yeah. See? <laughs> say it all together. Yeah. Now say it all together, calm and happy. Yeah. Yeah. It is the best sound in the world. And we have a world full of no. Creatively, we are told, shut up, sit down, be quiet, be good, behave. Exactly. 
It doesn't make sense to me either, but that is what is in the world. And I realize places like this are important. I'll tell you on the internet, and I'll tell all of you back there, I'll tell you right there. The reason they're important is because this world will get you out of practice on the idea of being affected by things going on around you. Whether it's people or ideas or just something that's, that's happy. What if you don't let that stuff in? We've already answered the question. People go, don't eat that bread. And you never find out it could be anything else. Romeo, don't go to that house. No great literature. But, you know, he lives out a nice, calm life. Maybe he meets another girl. But the story never gets told. Even if your ideas remix all of this stuff so much that by the time we're done, we don't even recognize the thing that affected you, you'll still be able to cite the fact that you got affected by something, and that's what started the process. We always call it the work, the process, the thing we're doing. Somewhere it starts and it gets to here. So it took me three years to tell you that this room is important. And I figured it out because of a gift I received. I got a poster, and it's a piece of cheap art. Now, I'm not saying it's cheap art. I'm saying that it was referred to by the person who created it as cheap art. It was also conveniently inexpensive. It was a poster that had a single word on it. It had a single word that it didn't have a period, it didn't have a comma, it didn't have a qualifier, it didn't have a but. It just said yes. It was a big yes. And it hangs on my wall right over all the things. I need some things to do the show. I need my hat, I need my shoes, uh, a couple of rolls of gaff tape, uh, gloves to do all the heavy lifting that you guys didn't see. And thank you to those who did see and did help. But every day when I pick that stuff up, that's one of those things I put in the box and take with me. I take all the yes I can and I bring it here so I can say yes and welcome to the open stage. I get it.